It's interesting, but so much, um, you know, focus goes on the wedding day itself. And through Botanica Weddings, what we really emphasize is the importance of being present during the day. So that's, that's why you have people looking after all the details for you. Yeah, no distractions. Yeah, no distractions. And it's the, the quality of the experience that you have, which is your capacity to share it and be present, you know, with your, with your partner, also with your very close family and friends, really creates a foundation for the rest of your life moving forward. So it's, it's a fabulous start to your marriage and it's a very important one because ultimately if you do it properly, it is a day that does last forever. It has um, an, an eternal effect on the rest of your life. You don't realise what a big day it is, especially for men. I mean, I had a very cavalier approach to getting married. It's like I was very flattered because this very beautiful girl was going to marry me. And that, that was about it. I went and had a few beers and turned up and got married. But when she walked down the aisle, and this happens to most men, and men nowadays, I dare say I, um, are more sensitive than my generation. They're more aware of their feelings. They're more aware of their relationship, the levels of their relationship. It's been it's been so talked about it and all, talked about and all that for the last 20, 30 years, whereas it wasn't in my day. You were a man, that was a woman, and you got together and that was it. And uh, that's, that, it's that moment when the, this woman walks down the aisle and she's saying to her, I'm going to be yours forever and you're madly in love with her. It's very transformative and you see that in men uh, at the altar there. You know, until, until it comes to it, they're kind of loose and cool and then they get more and more nervous and then when it actually happens, it's actually, it's, it's amazing, amazing to watch. And, and of course, it's amazing to watch for everyone else because it sort of reaffirms their, their belief in life in a way, you know, their belief in, in the magic of relationship and the magic of love, uh, which, is, which is quite fascinating. You see it, you can see it in everyone there. They're all going, mm, I need to rethink my relationship if it's not going well, or, or I'm so in love with this person I'm sitting next to if it is going well. It, so it's, it's, it's a great institution when people uh, minimise it or, or um, in some way uh, ridicule it. Uh, I find that quite sad now, whereas once I was one of those people, I used to say, oh, fucking marriage, and this is bullshit, you know, and all that. Because I came from a, a seriously broken background, you know. So, so like a lot of kids of my generation, we place no value on, we place no value on having kids until it happens, it changes you. It's, it's, a, it's a transformative ritual I see it as a ritual rather than anything religious or anything. It's just a ritual. It's a social ritual, a very, very powerful social ritual. So what you don't realise is if you haven't prepared for it properly, you can minimise the impact of that. Whereas if someone else is handling all the shit going on around you and you're just focusing, the two of you, it's, wow. And that, in that way, it, it, it supports the, the ongoing relationship.